There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. You already know it's your girl A. We definitely came to slay today with a my first wig. Okay. Uh, but I hope you all have like an amazing, amazing holiday. Stay blessed. Be blessed. I hope you had like a safe holiday. Got to spend it with friends and family. My Christmas was so funny and hilarious. I'll definitely link the video somewhere in this as a clip. Um, well, not as a clip, but as you know, you could um you can click on it. Um, Christmas was really great. It was funny. It was fun, especially when the Grinch came through. My daughter Tati dressed up as the Grinch and all my grandkids not all of them but enough of them got scared so out of five three of them got scared and girl let me tell y'all I was laughing so hard my sides hurt okay I haven't laughed that hard and that good in so long so you know gotta traumatize the kids a little bit I guess but what it is what it is I hope y'all having like a really great day I have not recorded a video in like two weeks I was on like a little vacation you know time for myself plus I ran out of videos which is a good thing but here I am back at work and in the meantime while I was doing that I was re-binge watching Shameless if you guys have ever heard of Shameless. It's on Netflix now, but it was, I think, a Showtime series in the beginning. Um, but Shameless is on Netflix. It's 11 seasons. I actually watched this before. Me and Tati used to watch this a lot. And we stopped watching it at season seven because, you know, that was the end of the season. We had to wait till the next season it came out. But Shameless is hilarious and it's funny. And like I said, there's 11, 11 seasons on Netflix, which is great because I love to binge watch great shows and there'd be like plenty of seasons to follow. And I think there's like about 12 to 13 episodes per season. So if you've never checked out Shameless, girl, listen, you got to watch it. It's funny. It's hilarious. I absolutely love Shameless. And if you have watched it, let me know your thoughts of it in the comments. Today's video is going to be a My First Wig Wig. Girl, you already know when it's a My First Wig Wig, you already slayed to the gods. You already slayed. You ain't got to worry about anything. You ain't got to worry about bleaching no notch. You ain't got to worry about thinning out no hairline. Girl, melted, melted, melted like butter on a skillet, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day, okay? Do it like it's your B-Day and born to slay. I love My First Wig. I love their sister company. RPG show. You can never go wrong with any of their wigs. So if you've never purchased one, treat yourself to one of their wigs and you will see definitely what I'm talking about. So in this one right here, I didn't do anything but just part it on the side because it did come middle parted. It will come middle parted. Now you already know what I say about my head. I have a long head. It's a very elongated head, face, whatever you want to call it. So sometimes I do middle parts and sometimes I don't. Just depends on, you know, how I'm feeling for the day. But for this pretty wig, girl, I wanted to do a side part. This is very pretty, nicely highlighted. Highlighted, excuse me, nicely highlighted. Highlighted, nicely highlighted. And and um, this is their Swiss tinted lace, which will melt in your skin like butter on a skillet. What I tell y'all, what I tell y'all. It already comes with one of their elastic bands, has their signature right on the side, combs and the adjustable strap in nape at the nape area, and there are also combs inside. And it was already lightly, nicely bleached for your girl. So there's really nothing you have to do. You will have to style it to your preference, but I already went ahead and hot comb the sides with my hot comb. Girl, if you have a canvas block head, use that to hot comb your units. Trust me when I tell you 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 will thank me later for that because I have burnt myself quite a few times with a hot comb so it's very very crucial okay it's very important to get yourself canvas blockhead but for this video we are going to go ahead and I'm going to more or less focus on cutting the lace and what type of scissors I like to use I say this a lot in a lot of my videos and you've seen me use the same type of scissors over the past years which are these curved scissors okay and these are by a brand ah uh, I can't really see it I'll link all of the scissors that I like to use below this is also another pair of short scissors but you will notice these are straight there is no curvage like these right here now as you see this one has a curve to it and this one right here is just straight this one is just straight so you can definitely use a straight scissor now some people like to use really big scissors that's cool too but it just gives you more or less a very blunt straight cut and you want to be careful when cutting the lace with big bulky scissors so I would never suggest using big bulky scissors these allow you to cut only a certain specific length which make it a lot easier you won't be over cutting okay and also you can control these much better when it comes to cutting the lace now some people like to cut straight across I can and I do but some people like to give it like a little jagged look now these are pink and sheer scissors and as you see on each one of them they all have different cuts and that's what the lines are on the scissors it'll show you how it will cut the purple pair right here are the ones which are giving me like a different kind of like squiggly look these are really good also for cutting lace but the one thing about 
pink and sheer scissors is they're very bulky as well. So you will definitely need to cut your lace with while not wearing the unit. Now, because these are bulky, they may look small to you, but they are very wide. As you can see, they have bigger teeth, which are able to allow them to cut a certain design. And these are really great. I like the design that they cut. You do see a lot of the pre-cut lace wigs that are so that are sold now. They also do have the same specific specific cut in them. However, I still prefer to use these curved scissors. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give me something to drink because my lips is dry as hell, girl, and I keep lipping my lips. So let me get something to drink real quick and we're gonna just jump right into this, okay? <laughs> To lock up, I need to step back. Constantly online, causing me setbacks. Ooh. Every day, see so many people doing the things you do, and they're doing it better too. Whoa, whoa. It's like, why should I even try when there's always some other guy who's way ahead of you but makes it look easy? Why would they need me? Oh, I hear it now. I'm just being needy. I try not to envy you, to get angry you, do it better than me. I try not to hate myself, to lose confidence, but you always do it better than me. I just wanna be loved like you. I just want them to see me too. Just wanna be the one they choose, yeah. I just wanna be loved. That's really, really good for you, yeah. Everything you do is cool. It's kind of unbelievable. All right, ladies, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have some clips. As you see right here, the lace is overlapping my ear. Now, if you want your lace to fit comfortable and flush, flat to your surface of your head, you want to go ahead and make a part directly above your earlobe, like so. And you see that part right there? And what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut directly onto that part, removing the excess lace. This will allow your lace front wig to fit properly. As you see, my ear is out and is no longer covered. And you want to repeat that on the opposite side. Once again, parting directly over your ear and taking your small curved scissors and cutting directly onto that part, removing that extra lace. Doing this method will not destroy, ruin the wig at any cost. This will be fine. Now to cut the lace, we're going to cut it into three sections like so. And like I said, I do prefer a smaller pair of scissors. That way the scissors do not cut any extra lace because they are so big. Now the first thing you want to do, regardless if you're going to use glue or not, is you want to clean the hairline. And now I'm going to take those scissors and I'm going to first cut into it. And then I'm just going to leave the scissors open and I'm going to allow them to glide over the lace, cutting the lace. And I'm going to move my hands like so and an up and down pattern so that way the lace is not a blunt straight cut and as you just see here the lace is kind of like a jagged cut which is great and as you can see right here you cannot see the lace at all and i'm going to repeat that same method on the front portion of the lace and of course i did speed it up some and you just want to allow the scissors to glide across the lace. While holding your lace, just allow your fingers to move up and down and allow the scissors to glide across the lace. And that's basically it when cutting your lace. This will make the best method in my opinion. I always suggest a small pair of curved scissors. That way you don't cut too much lace at one time. Now I don't know about you ladies, but I love a good sideburn hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my sculpting foam to press into my edges and onto my sideburn hairs. This is not going to make the wig adhere. It's not gonna stick the wig down. It's just going to mold the hairs into place and make it look a lot more natural versus it being all straight and blunt. And I prefer to use the Mark Anthony's because the product is not so wet 
and it's also a thicker product which will allow it to sculpt better. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and put on your elastic band and allow it to dry. And then you can go ahead and style your hair. So unachievable, yeah, almost inconceivable. I'll never do it like you do. And I know I'll grow in a whole spot of me. But self that comes easy and I've tried almost everything But it just hasn't worked yet I try not to envy you, to get angry you Do it better than me I try not to hate myself, to lose confidence But you always do it better than me I just wanna be loved like you I just want them to see me too Just want to be the one they choose Yeah, I just want to be loved Ooh, I hate comparison Cause it makes me feel less than Striving for perfection Thinking somebody will see me then No, don't get me wrong Really want everybody to succeed But can we start with me? Well, all right, you guys, all right, I'm done. Like, this was definitely an easy slay. No hairspray, no glue. This is a glueless lace front. And with my first wigs, wigs, you can definitely wear it without hairspray. I know a lot of people be kind of like hesitant about not putting hairspray. You feel like it probably is going to fly off with the wind. Maybe the wig ain't going nowhere. It's got combs, okay, in the front and in the nape. Plus, it has an adjustable strap. So, it also has the black elastic band. So, there's no way your wig is falling off and coming off unless somebody's really deemed to get you and they snatching the hell out of it. Other than that, you can definitely wear this one blueless or hairsprayless, okay? Simple, easy, didn't have to do anything. Now, as you see, it's still glueless. There you go. There's the proof. Girl, listen, I've been telling y'all for years already. My first wigs, okay, girl, they will have you slaves to the gods. Your wig will look like it's growing out your scalp. People will be like, ooh, girl, that wig, girl, it looks nice. Also, it has plenty of parting. Now, the parting does go back even further than where I stopped it at, like back here. But because this is a 13 by 6, so it can go back further. But I don't like my part when I'm doing it as a side swoop to be so thick on one particular side. So I kind of like stop it right there. You can always use a little bit of your concealer or foundation to make the lace blend in. You know, that way it looks like scalping. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and the tutorial regarding the scissors. You can pick these up at Walmart. I will make sure to link a link below for you guys. This makes cutting your lace front so much easier. You don't have a big bulky blunt pair of scissors and as well as this will stop you from cutting too far and too deep because the scissors themselves are shorter so i hope you guys enjoyed this wig like this came out pretty girl okay and i did curl it yesterday i just used my actual flat comb my flat iron to curl it just some really loose beachy like waves do it like it's your b-day okay do it like you born to slay okay i will see y'all in the next video make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs that video up make sure you check out my first wig you can also check out their sister site rpg show i promise you guys you will not be disappointed get you one because it's about to be well it is 2024 boo so get you some new hair get you a new hair do okay on that note i stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up and i will see y'all in the next one happy new years why was it her and not me wish someone could redesign me to not have the style to find me why was it her and not me why was it her and not me and me is gone